we have i guess one thing in common yeah sorry uh, yeah yeah we are all have we all have uh, special needs children yeah okay so so like mightly ma'am uh, told me like uh, just to talk to you all about uh, my uh, journey what uh, i have gone through and uh, how i am handling myself uh, these many years so my son anirudh uh, he is a cb child and he has got a lymphangioma in his eye also by earth lymphangioma is like a uh, uh, like our lymphatic fluid gland it will get accumulated here and every now and then it bleeds bleed kind of the fluid will come out and he has undergone many surgeries and all so he is now 26 years old oh, okay. uh, yeah so by birth this problem started and uh, i've been i've gone through many 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 treatments like uh, so if someone said do this do that and i go immediately and do that to me so i've so I met uh, many doctors in my life, like uh, Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, and uh, many homeopathy and natural therapists, that, and also whoever says do this and I'll go follow them. So I was like, uh, so my age is now uh, 48 and I got married very early, uh, like 20. So I gave birth to Anirudh uh, when he was... Uh, 21 when I was 21 years 22 years old so from that time till now I'm just running to hospitals and uh, I'm trying to like uh, make him independent uh, so that he can take care of himself now he is uh, 60 70 percent independent I can say though he has got vision problems and all but still uh, by God's grace uh, he could able to manage himself on his own so yeah, for this, I've uh, I can say I'm I have sacrificed, mm -hmm. but uh, that's not a good term I will say. So we are all blessed to uh, take care of our kids, and God has given us the opportunity uh, to uh, do uh, something special, you know, uh, not like others. Uh, and I think we are privileged. So yeah, so my journey was like this uh, when. He, when I gave birth to him, uh, doctor said that he has got vision problem, cataract, and he has got brain uh, damages there. And uh, three months old, he, uh, I have a, I mean, uh, first cataract surgery for him. Then uh, I became swollen, bleeding started. Then from one year, continuous surgery, still he was six. I was in Dubai when I gave birth to him. And uh, Dubai, then after the surgeries and all, uh, I admitted, I mean, I put him up in a special school. The school was there, very good, very good ambience and all, but it's just a, like a five-star hotel, not, no therapies, nothing. He just go and come to school. And people used to, you know, look at him like be in a weird way because he has got that uh, swelling in his eyes. So every first I felt so bad, like why me? And uh, why God has given this to me, what I did? So eventually, like, uh, uh, slowly, like, I felt like, okay, fine, this is the life, I have to take it. Then I uh, completed my uh, an IT degree, uh, degree, and I mean, after degree only I got married. Then I finished my NIT and I did few courses and also I worked for a few years. And my family was very supportive and um, Though they are here in Chennai, I was in Dubai, they were able to meet me for a little time only, but I was the one who managed everything alone. And uh, so all these years we are running to hospital and also when I, he was, he was going to school and everything was going well, every now and then he'll fall sick and uh, bleeding will come from his eyes, then again I have to go to the doctor. Then again, come to Chennai for treatment. Then again, have admitted. So this was the routine, you know. Uh, at one point, when I reached 40, I felt like, what is going on in my life? What I am doing? Uh, you know, uh, I used to cry, you know, the midlife crisis, the term I heard first time in my life, it hit me so badly, so badly. I used to, uh, Dubai, the, I, I didn't have many friends. 
only few old friends, aunties, uh, like when I was saying they were aunties. So they only they, they understood me and they used to come and talk to me. That's it. Uh, we have a Sai Bhajan circle. So just limited circle. No socializing, nothing. Because of my son, their interaction was like they never used to come and talk to me. They think that she can't enjoy. She can't go out and enjoy. She can't come with us. She can't bring her child. So these many, that's a taboo. Like if we are a special parent, uh, they themselves will think that we can't enjoy anything in life. We have to take care of them and it's our duty. Okay, I understand. That's it. But still that taboo has to be broken. So that time I, when I reached 40, like I used, my age friends group, there was nothing. I can't able to talk about, you know, anything with, the other old aunties, just uh, bhajans and uh, spiritual things, religion. But I wanted to explore life. I wanted to do something for myself. And uh, though I am very strong and all, I broke a lot when I was in 40. So luckily, uh, Anirudh got admission in Chennai. And uh, I my, myself and uh, Anirudh, we shifted to Chennai. My husband was in Dubai. With my mom's support, uh, she said, like, come, you come here, we can take care. So we uh, relocated to Chennai and he got admission in very good school. And uh, after coming here, like, it was, uh, you know, like, I wanted to do something for myself. And uh, I wanted to be strong. I wanted to be healthy. I just want to come out of the midlife crisis. I want to break all the rules of especially parent now. But, I mean, uh, Especially if parents, especially parent, they should be like this. I want to break that rule, everything. So I started to explore things, whatever I liked. I started to doing that for myself. So first, I joined uh, a choir group. I'm a singer. I sing. So I joined a choir group, and I started singing. So it gave me so much of peace of mind. Then I joined a trek group. So I started going to trek. I I started first, I started to, you know, uh, being healthy and make myself healthy. I, uh, I enrolled myself to a gym doing, uh, I, I was healthy. And uh, for the trek, uh, we have to be more, uh, you know, fit. So then uh, I started going to treks. Trek means not just one or two days. It's a 10 days trek, five days trek. It's uh, it's in Himalayas and uh, Uttarakhand side. So then uh, my, uh, then what uh, I joined the uh, office and uh, I did, I, uh, I was doing costing for one furniture company. So like part-time job I was doing. And so I came out totally out of my midlife crisis and uh, I felt wow what a life we have and uh, we are not counting our blessings first of all and um, then I felt like uh, whatever you do do it for yourself don't see what the world uh, tells you and uh, whatever it is let them judge no problem at all you have to be happy happy if you are happy your family will be happy and if you are happy your child will be happy and you for what if what makes you happy do that do that immediately right from the moment so i felt that i learned that lesson so from that time from 40s like then i started like doing whatever i want to do i did so that was a, a thing like uh, then uh, yeah so basically anirudh's uh, health also got improved when he we came here and uh, because my positivity it went to him and I saw his sort of improvement in him because if the how my, even my mom also we always sing to him we always like we never ever used to sit there oh Anna, what happened like why it has never ever though we had problems and all for example I tell you during COVID uh, first attack wave 2020 it uh, is high eye bleeding got aggravated so much to the level like his uh, HP got uh, like uh, got down to 2.24. So it was so bad and I can't able to take him out. I can't able to go to hospital, do some blood transfusion. But 
somehow we manage only myself and my mom. My dad is a Parkinson patient. He's bedridden. My husband is in Dubai. He can't able to come. So we manage the whole thing. I used to take him every day, drive the car, take the permission from the police, drive the car, take him to a small clinic, put IV injection, IV uh, thing for iron injection for him. And for one and a half months, we struggled. But still, we used to sing songs every day and uh, we just, uh, you know, you won't believe COVID. We never, ever got COVID. All three of us, all four of us, we are not been affected by COVID. Though we went out to hospital, came the, came back every day, but we are not affected by COVID. So the, the reason is always stay positive and uh, just uh, the law of attraction. That Just think that something is good happening to you and always good will happen. So that's an example I just want to tell you. So, yeah. So till now, like, uh, I'm living a very, very, very happy life. Though uh, still, uh, even now, Anirudh Sai is bleeding. So that's a creation is there. But still, I believe that uh, something good will happen. And uh, if we sit, you know, if we are sad and uh, if we are, uh, you know, like uh, if we think like, oh my God, what is what will happen? Our negativity will pass through our, to our child. So please take care of yourself. And uh, right now, from this moment, do whatever you want, what you like to do. And uh, don't think, uh, feel guilty about anything like people will judge you. First, I felt so guilty. Oh, I'm leaving my son to my mother. I'm, I'm going out. No, it's not that. If someone, if, if we, they will understand you, make them understand if they not. Make them understand that, okay, I want to do something for myself and uh, I, I want to be happy. So that's it. So 40 is, uh, you know, breaking point of for all women, you know. So that time everybody will go through this hormonal imbalance and this midlife crisis and all. We don't know. Our parents are all very strong. I used to ask my mom, Amma, have, you, have you went through a midlife crisis? She asked me, what is that? So their generation is totally different. They are very strong. But our generation, I don't know whether you are 30s or 40s, but our generation, like we have, we are facing through so many things in our life because of our food we are taking, the chemical, pesticide, whatever it is, it's going inside. So that making a hormone stance. So because of that, we have to face so many things. For that, you have to be stay healthy, eat well, uh, do workouts well. And uh, yoga is a must. It's, it's really helpful. And... Uh, and uh, whatever passion, whatever, uh, you know, uh, hobbies you want to do, just do it and uh, be happy. So that's it. So you have any questions to ask, you can ask me. <laughs> Thank you, Jashri, um, yeah. for sharing your journey. Uh, definitely, the you said about positive. It's everyone, whether it is a special in parent or not. Yeah, whoever uh, it is. Yeah, People have, um, they have, they are blessed with lots of things still. People are negative and uh, things. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, not for us, only for everyone. Um, yeah. I would to know, uh, compared to Dubai, you said in Chennai, there is a school and school is really good. So if you share um, more details about that, it could be helpful for um, someone. Yeah, uh, so there is a group called a Special Care Network uh, Unit. Uh, so it's, it's, it's full of uh, special need parents and uh, therapists and uh, counselors. Whatever you have, whatever you want, if you have doubt, you can post it. I will forward the link. It's in Telegram. So because it's a big group, a WhatsApp, uh, it's not it's not accommodative. So it's in Telegram. So you can join that group and uh, they will help you. The school I'm telling is Vidya Sagar. It's in uh, Koturpuram uh, near Adaya. So that's the best school and the teachers, therapists, they are amazing. But getting admission, it's a bit tough, but you will get it. Uh, I mean, I have uh, possible. So, and uh, moreover, Chennai is full of uh, many uh, new, I mean, therapists, alternative medicine is there. What uh, Anirudh, uh, I'm showing, she's an alternative therapist. So, integrated therapist. So, she's not only a physio, she does incorporates all the therapy like uh, kinesiology, neurodynamics, uh, varma, then uh, needling so 
she does amazing work and she charges very less and uh, for past six years i'm taking anirudh to her and uh, anirudh was like like this his bleeding uh, every now and then his eye breathe he used to sit like this in a, his neck he never used to had a eye contact after this he used to lift his head up and uh, though he has got low vision he could able to manage uh, going alone in the home uh, and uh, he's independent now only thing i have to feed him and uh, uh go taking him to the toilet is still on diapers that will eventually uh, he'll be fine and he could able to paint with the help support and uh, whatever he does uh, school uh, they are making into bags wallets and uh, you know the pouches they are selling it and he's earning he's earning now he's getting stipend so yeah oh that's really good to hear Yeah. and may i ask um, how many children because i'd like to know more about the schools so that could be um, uh, my place recording um yeah. it's going to youtube also it could be helpful for many that's why i'm asking all these things so how many children are there and uh, so what kind of abilities are there uh, uh, in that school school has got many uh, i mean it's almost around uh, 500 uh, to 600 kids are there yeah and uh, my full uh, cp autism uh, uh what is that uh, adhd everything they are uh, uh they are making uh, i mean attending all types of uh, issues and uh, there are uh, separate therapists for each and every unit and uh, anirudh is now in uh, adult unit vocational because after 18 they'll put him into adult uh, whoever a girl or boy they'll put them into adult unit so adult unit basically whatever skills they teach uh, extra skills uh, apart from therapies and all they start to teach extra skills like like anirudh he does painting one one uh, hand hand functioning is okay they'll teach how to make mats and all and candle making and painting and all so it depends on the style the ability and skill so that it's like that so till uh, if your kid can study you can uh, you can write an exam uh you know there is nipmet school is the nios through nios they can write an exam and uh, if you uh, get a disability card they get stipend also every month uh, 2000 for a, for a disability card so it's like a kind of pension to them so that's it. or everything school will take care and the fees is also very less good uh, teachers and uh, yeah okay um one more thing so you said they are putting the adult uh, unit and all those things and uh, as a parent you know uh, every parent goes through uh, when the uh, kids are uh, teenage and uh, when they are going to adulthood and all those things for a special need parent uh, when they are going to adulthood so you know uh, like you said uh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. hormone problem and all those things yeah is it there or if and how you are managing is there any uh, guidance towards that you can give yeah of course school will teach you how to take care of them and uh, how to manage the adult adulthood if uh, if he's a boy so after 20 uh, 20 years and all uh, they feel like touching their uh, you know uh, pubic area and all so the school will teach how to manage them how to tell yeah i mean we have to make them understand not to touch there are few i mean for autism kids i don't know like uh, they will uh, because cp they will tell me like uh, you know to ask him not to touch just uh, lift the hand and keep it there just lift the hand and keep it there and uh, not uh, tell him not to touch not to touch if you repeatedly tell they won't do that uh, and sometimes uh, during night we don't know what uh, what is happening we sleep and all but uh, it's a normal thing and we have to go through all these things so we can't able to stop them like control them don't do don't do and all it's a it's a normal process hormonal process uh, you know so, so for a boy uh, it will happen automatically so for autism kids i think they will tell they will make them uh, understand i guess there are separate therapists for that uh, so school they teach yeah okay, that's the main thing Uh, like in india we all say this is wrong or uh, don't touch all those things but here here and i think in western countries there are you know when they are alone whatever it is they can uh, do uh, uh, lots of things uh, 
so there is a difference so the people why i'm asking this question is that's why it's not them. that you should not uh, tell them control them don't do it it's a normal thing everybody uh, does that and uh, you know masturbation it's a normal common word uh, i mean it's it's not a, a bad word at all so if we control more no they will do that again and again and again and again so let them do whatever they want uh, it's a normal you know hormonal thing and everybody get that urge to do that uh, so yeah. so the the main thing is um, parents and so you... the teachers everybody has to understand uh, how to guide them because i saw how to guide. yeah exactly so i got one uh, parent was saying one uh, male uh, male parent uh, i mean uh, father was saying like he used to be with him when his kid was doing it so he used to you know be with him like uh, control him Yeah, you help it, not control it. Help it when his kid uh, was ma- used to masturbate. So somehow the parent used to that rapport should be there. If the parent understand that it's not, it's a normal thing, then there won't be any problem, I guess. Yeah, uh, that's really good to uh, hear. Anything else? Um, because uh, you've been in Dubai and now you are in Chennai. and i don't know how many schools um uh, you know you went and see before you put it in this vidyasagar school and things no like no that. first uh, vidyasagar is the first school i got to enroll that's uh, i didn't go and search for any other schools for anirudh the first school i got itself is vidyasagar because uh, dubai they didn't uh, because because of his bleeding uh, uh, they told me to like uh, get a tc and leave because they said this is not a hospital we can't take care of him bleeding is not that every now and then he will get when the heat is more he start getting bleeding and uh, so they said like you, you just uh, take him in uh, from the school so when he was like uh, 40 i guess 14 or 15 uh, he was they gave me tc so yeah school is uh, school whatever school therapy uh counselors chennai and india i will say it's the best best the best yeah you get many many here uh, you will find in many alternatives you have many doctors they have the empathy you know towards our kids and it's not like before everybody is having that empathy and you know and uh, they are not it's not that they will see still that socialization part is little less but still i feel like it's better than many other country uh when you said you used alternative therapy and yeah. uh, please tell me um, like a before and after uh, the changes so again it will give awareness to other parents uh, to you know think about alternative therapy and uh, you know it, it's uh, nothing is going to be a magic wand and jibumba uh, uh, everything is all right it is not going to be see But, we need patience Yeah. we really really need patience it's as you say it's not a magic you put just a magic and it will change nothing i have tried many 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 methods i've tried full whatever it is i tried even uh, there is one uh, uh center called uh, what to do about your brain injured child in philadelphia so there is a place and they have a book book called what to do about your brain injured child so you have to do 24 by 7 therapy to your child it's a it's a they will give a pattern early morning we have to make, make them get up feed them and uh, if he has got eye problem take them to a dark room show him light and all so and so and every day we have to teach them three words it's a monotonous thing i i did for him i did for him for one year and i became very bored like you know there are many things yeah so alternative therapies it's good like i i followed what i followed find it effective is flower medicine especially for autism kids it's very uh, effective so it's a it's a kind of a liquid a flower map. i think you have heard of back flower medicine so they you have to add it in water and give them so there are different types of flower medicine so for, for so if they are hyper we can give them so there is one rescue remedy if they are more hyper if you are taking your child to your coma your bedding or uh, to a, you know gathering 
So you can give this rescue remedy to them and they'll be calm and quiet. So I find flower medicine is amazing and it won't give any side effects, nothing. And there is a healer, uh, Dr. Pranav is there and he's the best for this uh, flower medicine and he does Buddhist healing also. So they make it will make them calm. So Anirudh's issue was he used to rock a lot and when he gets angry, he, he will hit his, bang his head uh, on the wall and he used to hit me. You won't believe how many uh, specs I have changed. He used to hit me directly on my specs uh, if he gets angry. So everything uh, now has reduced. I will say 80% has reduced. And he is a now quiet and calm child, uh, adult, I mean, calm guy. I will say he's 26 now. He's a calm and he has changed a lot after all these things. And especially flower medicine. And the therapist, Mr. Dr. Rajeshwari, uh, she's in uh, Chennai. And she's amazing. She works wonder. So I told this one of our friend from Singapore and they got their two autism kids. Both are, uh, two kids, both are autistic. And uh, she has taken treatment for 20 days and now they have become literally calm and she's gone back and she's planning to come back again and uh, in treatment. So like this, you know, many are there. And uh, we have, I told, you know, scan group, special care assistant network group. And every Sunday we have a gathering. Music shows will be there and the dance shows, especially for us. Kids will enjoy. No one will say, don't go there, don't come, sit here and all. You can do whatever you want and uh, it's a beautiful place and uh, kids are really enjoying there and uh, it's it's that. Yeah. You know, where are these, the, the place is it in Chennai again? Uh, ah, the... Special Care Network Unit is a telegram group and Mr. Gopi is ahead and uh, so we get uh, every week for like messages and all. There are many parents in there almost about 1,000 parents. Uh, so everywhere, like two, three places, they conduct all these uh, shows. So okay. they, we don't have a uh, Pakka place and all. So everywhere, it's changing. Yeah, it'll change. Yeah. Um, you mentioned about flower medicine. Yeah. yeah. And it helps me a lot. Um, I know uh, particularly it makes your Anirudh calm down. So have you... Could I... Uh, no, more? it's not that it depends on... Uh, each and every uh, child thing. So I, I will say the particular medicine rescue remedy, it will help for it even for us. Yeah, yeah. I used it for my son also. That's why yeah. there are uh, generally, uh, you know, if you go to the uh, flower back flower medicine website, they give and uh, uh, what I did was uh, when I was, uh, my son was young, uh, I'm talking about like my son is now 24 years old. Um, so I'm talking about 20 years back. Uh, I used to read all the reviews of flower medicine I used and uh, I strongly felt, um, you know, it helped him. Uh, it is a very small bottle and it's uh, yeah. so, so that's why I thought, uh, you know, if, especially when you are telling, it makes him calm down. So is it yeah. okay for you to share the, uh, do you remember? Um, there are uh, quite a few. I mean, there are a set of bottles, isn't it? Yeah, so, there are many like... Uh... What is it? Uh, chestnut is there. Walnut is there. And there are many. But uh, I, I can't say that this particular medicine will help for this because doctor will tell. I gave all these things to Anirudh. Chestnut, walnut, and other. What is that? Below. Below and all. So now I have stopped giving him. I have given a break. So I will uh, resume a little late. So, But you have to meet the doctor per proper practitioner you should meet just don't go through all these websites and all and give whatever the, they the thing is uh, not everybody fortunate enough um, to go and uh, because we are living in UK no no Dr. Pranav is giving online consultation also if you want I'll give uh, I'll just talk to him and uh, give his uh, thing address or I mean uh, number and all so, if you parents can join together, you can uh, take a Zoom call and talk to him and, uh, you know, uh, get a, a consultation kind of thing. And, yeah. Even flower medicine, it will take time. It's not, uh, it will take at least uh, five to six months to, you know, uh, get observed and uh, start working. For me, for Anirudh, it took six months. Uh, so, after that, he was fine. 
and another thing mentioned you are a soy devotee i am a soy devotee too so i would like to know um, you you are a singer also you mentioned the bhajan or other things how it help uh, yourself as a parent and for a child uh, because i think 100%. it's 100% Hundred percent, it will help. Hundred percent, because uh, I started singing. Uh, we are all singers in our family. From that, oh. from he was a baby. From the hospital, we started singing for him. So he, it makes him calm. So particular songs he will love. That I mean, he'll rush to the TV and he'll just watch the songs. Now you know, after twenties uh, uh, and all. he is not listening bhajans he is listening to all the kuttu paatu and all in tamil so you know that vijay song and all he said stop it enough of your bhajans i want to listen i am an adult <laughs> like <laughs> so he is he is now enjoying all the bollywood mollywood numbers and also okay but anyway music is common yeah 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 music that's makes them come that's it <laughs> so bhajans we um, i sing almost uh, you know 500 Six hundred bhajans I know, so mostly uh, he has grown up with all those things. So it really helps them a lot. And everything you need patience and belief. Whatever it is, you should have that belief. Like it will happen well. That everything is well. All is well. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So regarding the bhajans and things, and I know uh, you are enjoying um, whatever you want to do, like a uh, uh, trucking and whatever it is. Uh, and you, as you are saying, uh, you are a singer. And uh, do you have any idea, like because um, uh, parents like you has to go and take awareness and uh, whatever it is. So um, would you like to do that through the bhajans and how, however it is and. Uh, you want to see you know how it can help other kids and all those things or it would be too much for you uh, uh sorry <laughs> it's it's actually like uh, taking him to therapy taking him to school coming back and you know my schedule is totally full even now i have to go for therapy by 3:30 so uh i think i will uh, try to i mean what you, you want me to sing and teach them bhajans or what like uh, i didn't uh, get you like that could be when you know, i start because as you know uh, the kids and uh, that will be easy for them and uh, even weekly twice half an hour to some kids and uh, what i wanted to is um, at, uh, you know where they are and after uh, you know singing and all those things where they will be so we can share those things after few months or something like that so you don't have to take loads of children you take one or two uh, children and uh, uh, through that uh, you know whatever you the thing is if you have enough money we are donating yeah if when you have volunteers if they have enough time they are yeah, donating yeah. Yeah. and you have enough knowledge and i thought that should um, share of That's course it. i want to so but my first priority was is like anirudh like i can't commit anything see today he'll be fine i can say yes but tomorrow i don't know what will happen because his graph is like this so that's why i'm not committing to anything uh there is too much in my kitty and uh, and i travel a lot i'm sorry to say i travel a lot even last two days before i went to shirdi and came and uh, i'm planning uh, you know uh, i'm going for trekking so Yeah, yeah, that's that good. commitment i Amazing. my thing is if i commit something i want to do that's why like uh, if i can't come and kids will get uh, disappointed then it's a problem that's all yeah. yeah that's amazing i really i appreciate and all the thing uh, we would like to say thanks to you and uh, yeah. uh, your mom also they are supporting and all those things yeah please so, yes yeah. i want to introduce she is a yentu cutler and she is here yeah, waiting so long time man <laughs> உடம்புதான் <laughs> 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 நம்ம நம்ம ஹெல்த் மென்டல் ஹெல்த் உடம்பு ஹெல்த் போல அங்க எல்லாம் எப்படி இருக்கும் பாத்தீங்களா எங்களை பார்த்தா அப்படி தெரியாது பாருங்க
அப்படிதான் இருக்கணும்மா நல்லா நல்லா சாப்பிடுங்க நல்ல லைஃப் நம்மளுக்கு கொடுத்த லைஃப நம்ம நல்லா என்ஜாய் அவங்க பெஸ்ட் சைல்டு நம்மளுக்கு கடவுள் வந்து உங்களெல்லாம் செலக்ட் பண்ணி கொடுத்துருக்காங்க இந்த மாதிரி யாருக்கு இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு பாகியம் கிடைக்கும் நார்மல் சைல்டு யார் வேணா வளர்க்கலாம் அது ஒண்ணு கஷ்டமே இல்ல பட் இதெல்லாம் ஒரு சேலஞ்ச் இந்த மாதிரி பசங்களை வளர்க்கறதெல்லாம் நம்ம ஒரு சேலஞ்ச் சோ வி ஆர் ஆல் பிளஸ்ட் இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு பசங்க கிடைக்கிறதுக்கு நம்மளுக்கு சோ அந்த மாதிரி அந்த குழந்தைக்கு ஒரு இது பண்றோம் அப்படின்னு நினைச்சு நல்லா இதா பண்ணுங்க லைஃபே மாறிடும் அப்புறம் இங்கிலீஷ் பேசுவீங்களா இங்கிலீஷ் பேசுவீங்களா பாசிட்டிவ் <laughs> so it will helps 100% it helps okay idu unga parana paakalama naanga engalukku paakalam thoongrana so always so in her house no there will be there must be positivity so what we call devadas so that uh, devadas will be there at the angels so whatever think it happens yes 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 so if we think negative it goes like that only so if we think positive definitely positive but slowly slowly it will come that's definitely super so, ma uh, so, so, so you have to be yeah. yeah for everyone yeah. not for this child i am telling for common people no yes no yes. negative so we tell, we know with this something this is not there uh, no oh, no we won't tell like that we won't feel negative at all in each and everything i doesn't know we both have same mentality விஜய் ஜெயஸ்ரீ இல்ல விஜய் கிடையாது ஜெயஸ்ரீ ஐ லைக் டு சே ஒன் மோர் திங் ஜெயஸ்ரீ சோ you are going uh, track and everything so at least yeah. record all those things um, uh, to whenever you have time like a youtube uh, channel or something like that because whatever you are going to leave it will be like um, your mom said uh, the, the positivity and all those things there are lots of um, rubbish thing is spreading through uh, youtube so people like you have to take uh, some yeah, time yeah. you know you guys are occupied uh, even so, amma amma has, has given such a wonderful, wonderful life for us please be able to enjoy it that's it amma has to also spread that uh, positivity and all those things so it will be good no to... we are trying to tell everyone whoever we meet but uh, this uh, i i totally against this gadgets and all this youtube shows so i will try my best uh, sure and of course uh, you we can form a group and i will uh, post a uh, post my things to you so whatever yeah, yeah. Uh, i am uh, we already have yeah. a group there are 200 yeah. special parents are there um, so, so i definitely i will send a link if you could join sure. and uh, make so we uh, i will do what, whatever i am go- i will come across my experience and everything i will just post it in that group and uh, i will share it yeah definitely that would be really helpful uh, jayashree yeah, sure so, yeah, and if whenever you i guess you are from india so whenever you are coming to india please do come and meet me and uh, yes, about to say we'll that have fun we will have it. fun and uh, we will we'll dance we will sing everything so quickly so if uh, you have a very good friend here in india so don't uh, don't worry i'm there to support you all so be yes. cheerful yeah, yeah. thank yeah. you <laughs> yeah thank you so much because um, you are in hari and uh, sorry i i am the one talking everyone anyone has uh, any ah that's all i'm really sorry uh, hi jay uh, hi very nice uh, to hear you about you and your son thanks for sharing your story really inspiring your uh, your name i'm rekha rekha yeah, yeah. none yeah. of this uh, i have a 10 year old son he's autistic okay so good to hear from lot of you parents who are much knowledgeable and you are sharing your experience experiences 
Uh, yeah, Jayashree, I have one question. That's yeah. which you were talking about. Is there any age limit for the kids to join? School? So, yeah. There. No. There is no age There is limit. no age limit. When your, if your kid is 20, they'll put, it, uh, put your kid in vocational unit. Mm -hmm. So okay. there is no age limit. That's the good thing here. Mm -hmm. They won't send your kid out. Yeah, that's he what can be in the school mostly. how much ever yeah. they want. Mm -hmm. Even if he is 30s, he can be in the school. He can do whatever. There is a bakery unit also. I forgot to tell. Bakery unit also is said. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So that uh, getting admission is little tough because, uh, you know, they have limited seats. But once you get inside, it's very, uh, very good, actually. Yeah. Very good mm. to hear. Not only Vidya Sagar, there are many schools are here. Yeah. BXL is there and uh, you know that the Satya Lok, many schools are there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the uh, place. There is uh, like a 40 to 50 uh, autistic parents joined together in a place they built a house and uh, so Yeah, they, yeah it's there. Uh, do, you, do you know that place in Chennai? I don't know where is exactly. It's, there, it's, it's a place in uh, Andhra. Yeah. No, no, get... in Chennai. In Chennai, I'm talking about it's not in Andhra. Ah, there uh, actually, yeah, actually, uh, that it's it's all getting occupied. Actually, it's an apartment. Uh. Yeah, it's kind not of not only uh, autism. Everybody can join. Everybody. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, it's an where Andhra. is it in Andhra? Me? Where is it in Andhra? Uh, you mentioned there is Andhra. One it's Andhra. near Hyderabad. I think it's autism so, ashram. Think or, autism ashram. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. It's an outskirts of Hyderabad. Outskirts of Hyderabad. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good to know. Thank you. Um, mm. uh, we are planning to, first I would like to, um, you know, take this opportunity to say thanks to Maitri. Uh, because when I asked, um, uh, she mentioned first um, uh, about you and uh, she's giving really useful um, informative sessions to all of us. Um, so, I, you know, we started groups a um, few months ago, but um, this is the first time we are doing something um, more uh, efficient and uh, to reach parents, taking um, information to other parents also. So, we are planning to do more um, with other friends and other, um, especially occupational therapists, because everyone has some kind of, um, uh, you know, their strength and that technique. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. All these techniques are um, evolved because of their own uh, experience and the yeah. child who they are meeting and all those things. So bring them together and share those experience on all those things. So whenever you have time, once you yeah. join a group, whenever you have time, please join and Definitely. share all uh, you know useful information so that uh, even if it is going to help one parent, that is our aim. Sure, definitely. And one thing I was, uh, I used to have this uh, fear in my mind. Whatever I do, it will affect my child. The karma will affect him. So that fear was, I was having long before. Like, if I do something wrong, what if my, if I fail to uh, do my duty, will it affect my son? That guilty was there. I, I used to have that before. So that's nothing like that. <laughs> So I learned that lesson after a long time and I really want, please don't do that. Nothing, there is nothing like that. Uh, there is no, uh, it, don't feel guilty about doing something for yourself. You know, that's, uh, that will really helpful for you all. I Now you can say like I'm healthy in my 30s and I'm fit and fine and all. But once you reach 40 and above, definitely, definitely, whatever it is, it will really help, affect you. And uh, somehow we feel uh, inside ourselves, we feel stressed and it will affect our health. So for that, you have to be like, take care of yourself. Health is very important. The one thing I want for my child is a um, bit more friends and all those things. So, uh, you know, I don't know whether in UK uh, it is possible to uh, do like how you are doing, bringing all parents, all um, kids together. It's lots of efforts and again, the weather, there are lots of other things um, involved here. So you start with this, this can group started by a special parent only. Um, so, the, uh, so everybody, uh, once you start, like it's, it was like uh, 10, 15 uh, parents initially 
then it has become grown a, a big group like you know uh, people are there from abroad also it's they are there so i think uh, i will uh, uh, speak to gopi about your group uh, you have a group right yeah, so whether he can help you out uh, reaching out with the therapist and other uh, people and uh, he will definitely help you so whoever the head uh, i think you are are you the one managing the group or uh, anyone yeah. else is there i i brought them you know because uh, i felt sometime alone and uh, i thought of um, you know uh, socialization for my kid i thought of you know, improving so i um, brought all uk uh, no, oh, we all went to outings we all went to museum and uh, where else ma somewhere in mall we went sometimes we even we, we, we do go out more but, like sometimes for example you and me now uh, talking about something you know whether it is uh, in your topic about talking but these kids uh, sometimes they don't have uh, that communication skill but still they want to talk or they want to enjoy being with other people even so even they don't talk be with other people itself make them happy or uh, some kind of games or whatever it is so yeah. to bring that crowd together and so that parents also can share and the kids also can you know uh, the friends in the same wavelength so that's the main thing uh, i'm i'm aiming for because like uh, lots of parents are young in our group only two or three parents with the uh, older kids so when they were young um, for example uh, uh, i was all, all alone uh, Uh, for me i think uh, my mom can uh, hear so i can't even share uh, anything to my mom or anything so most of the time uh, but i was uh, i'm strong in uh, all the ways and uh, i didn't expect anything from the society or anything for the school or anything uh, only thing i believed in god and he gave that strength and uh, i'm spreading whatever i learned i'm trying to uh, give to the group and other parents and other kids so that um, they can use even if it is one information useful for them and uh, make them strong and whatever they want to do um, for them and uh, their kids uh, that is the main aim of, uh, for this group yes jay sri i think it's uh, time for you for your yeah. kids therapy yes so <laughs> it's so amazing jay sri to share your experience and uh, your thank mother you, thank you ma'am for giving uh, your thank you for giving me the opportunity yes yes jayshree thank you yes okay yes thank you um thank you my